Hi there, this is Kathleen and welcome to my YouTube channel, Love Your Skin. Thanks for stopping by. A few weeks ago, I went over the ABCs of anti-aging skin care. And I promised you back then that I would delve into a little bit more in detail each of these, these topics that are, not topics, but ingredients that are used in anti-aging skin care. For example, retinol, or uh, antioxidants, alpha hydroxy, uh, hydroquinone, hyaluronic acid. I wanted to delve further into each of these ingredients that have been proven to work in our anti-aging skincare arsenal here. And today I wanted to go over uh, the retinol. There, this term has been bandied about in the cosmetics industry. Um, and there's some confusion out there and I hope in uh, this video, I'll be able to help you out a little bit more and um, when you go out to the cosmetics counter in and start looking for some products for your, for your skin here. Um, retinol. Retinol is uh, a whole molecule of vitamin A and it's used in various over-the-counter cosmetic products and um, this term is bandied about and uh, many companies are extolling the, the benefits of decreased lines and wrinkles, decreased hyperpigmentation, which is the sun damage that you get, the brown spots that you get on your skin. And um, I just wanted to go over a little bit and uh, clarify this term a little bit more in detail. Currently, the only wrinkle cream approved by the, F the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration here in the U.S., is retinoic acid. And um, retinoic acid is a form of retinol, that, and retinol is that whole molecule of vitamin A. And uh, you can get retinoic acid in Retin-A or in Triton... I have always have trouble with this word, trit, tritonoian, tritonoian. It's the generic term of Retin-A. And um, it's important to know the difference between retinol and retino retinoic acid. I can talk here. Um, because it's the retinoic acid that has has all the studies of uh, the, the good benefits of using this product for anti-aging. This is the product, retinoic acid. And what it is, it's a derivative of retinol. It's about two steps down the metabolic um, chain from retinol. And again, it's the retinoic acid that is that has been uh, proven in studies to reduce lines and wrinkles and uh, to clear up sun, uh, sun damage there. And what the retinoic acid does is it goes deep, deep into the skin where your skin cells are produced. And it gets in there, it's a, it's, it breaks down to that retinoic acid and it gets into your skin cells, in the receptor sites of your skin cells, and encourages the skin cell to grow normally. Because what happens as we age, due to sun damage, um, the skin cells start to grow abnormally, and they start to get misshapen and, uh, because of the DNA damage. So what Retin-A does, um, being retonic acid, goes into the cell and encourages that cell to grow normally. And again, this, the retinoic acid, Retin-A or tetonin, is the product that is uh, that has been backed by several years of science, and unfortunately, you can only get that in uh, prescription, and also uh, a lot of people experience sun and sun irritation in using it. Um, but uh, uh, I'm trying to think here. Retinol, retinol is the over-the-counter product. And the studies on retinol are inconclusive at this time. Um, what happens when you use retinol is it breaks down finally to that retinoic acid and then it can go into your skin cells. The problem is that, um, the problem is most cosmetics don't use enough of the retinol uh, for it to make any difference. So, 
first, if you want to try this product, I would encourage you to go to your doctor and get a prescription. I got a prescription a while back of uh, the Tritonin, which is the generic Retin-A. It only cost me about $35. I had to pay cash um, for it. it. It wasn't covered by any insurance or anything. Had to pay cash, and it was only $35. And this tube like this, if used regularly, uh, would last you about three months. So um, what you could do is you could start off with that, use a, um, a pea-sized uh, drop in your hand, and maybe use it every other night and get your skin acclimate to that. If that is uh, becoming a problem and you just can't get uh, used to using this, then uh, try the retino retinols. And uh, I can say this word here. I, I have a little problem here. Um, the retinols, the over-the-counter versions. Just make sure that uh, the retinol is like number five or number six on the ingredient list. If it's uh, at the bottom, there's not enough ingredient there to make a difference. So I hope this kind of clears up a little bit about that topic and uh, some uh, precautions that you may want to consider if you're going to use this is you are uh, you're very sun sensitive at this time when you're using retinols and um, if you're going to be using this product you need to really commit to a program of safe sun uh, act safe sun protection i should say using a sunscreen that is uh, yeah, I like to use SPF 30 or more, but really that depends on where you live and your ethnicity. But you need to use a sunscreen of at least 15 or more every day. And if you're outside for more than two hours, you need to reapply. Also wear a wide brim hat. You need to commit, uh, if you're gonna use retinols, to stay out of the sun, uh, really. Your sun days are over, because we know how dangerous it is, right? Also, uh, you need to avoid tanning beds, and if you do by chance get a sunburn, your skin needs to completely heal uh, before using retinol again. Um, you need to use, stop using retinol uh, two weeks prior to any laser skin rejuvenation or hair treatment procedures. Also, I've heard that you need to stop retinols anywhere from two weeks to two months um, if you want to do a skin peel. Uh, I think that's mostly uh, your esthetician's, um, what do I want to say, risk level. If she's more conservative, she may say two months. If she's more progressive, she may say two weeks. So if you want to do a skin, skin peel, uh, get with your esthetician and see if you can work out a, a regimen there. Avoid waxing, um, chemical depilatories, or electrolysis on any skin that is uh, used with retinol. Um, also, if you've used products containing sulfur, uh, resorcinol, resorcinol, or sal salicylic acid, use retinol with caution. And as always, if you're pregnant or nursing, don't use retinol. We just don't know what, what it can do, so you'll want to avoid that. Um, also, retinols really are, you, are for mature skin, uh, age 35 and over. Um, if you're younger, it may, I don't think it's very good for your skin. This is just a personal thing. Get with your doctor uh, to discuss this if you want to use it in your 20s. Well, that's my tip for the day. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this clears up some misconceptions about retinols. Talk to you soon. Bye.